וקטפיץ! So welcome back to my Drag Race Holland live reaction series and we're here for the live reaction to episode 7 but obviously first of all happy Halloween everybody happy Halloween everything seriously I hope you guys got, get into the spook get into the shook and the kawook because obviously it is Halloween we have Drag Race Holland today tomorrow I'm going to be doing the Drag Race season 12 uh, bring back my ghouls special Halloween episode Halloween outfit Halloween outfit tomorrow and lots of pictures and I'll be live streaming on Twitch as well in outfits Look get into also she gone and got a her did so hey It's an event. It's so crazy because like I don't normally do like Halloween although y'all know that I dress up All year round, but I never really like do like Halloween. I don't know. It's weird. So yeah, I'm just feeling all kinds of fantasy, obviously in the orange and black spook pumpkin vibe outfit going on, which I freaking love. I mean, hey, uh, literally, like, trick or treat? Trick or treat? I know which one I'd go for, like, I, I love myself a lolly. Y'all know that I love some sour candies, some regular candies, some all the candies. Um, And if you are going out, I don't really think trick or treating is happening, but like, hey, it's cute. We've got some black up in here. we got some orange. It's going to be spook. Spookified. I don't you just... Ah, oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Look at all my goodies. I've already been trick or... I hadn't. I haven't. I've been to the shop. And I'm just going to eat them all myself. It's going to take weeks to get through. But anyway, <laughs> I just thought a full bucket would look cute for the pictures and everything. So, yeah. Um, I'm so freaking excited. I'll quickly do a little twirl in my outfit just to show you guys. Because these heels are not the tea. But... You know, it's, it is what it is, so hey. Ah, shit. I'm attached. <sighs> right, sorted. Whew. Yeah, look. Oh my god. Like, hey, hey. All the haze. So hopefully, this episode is not choreography. And so I'm not going to be falling on my ass. But anyway, we're going to just jump straight into the reaction because I want Hey, it's the semi-final. It's a musical vibe thing. I think, I don't know. We'll see um, what happens. But obviously, Chelsea Boy went last week. So anyway. Sorry, this is going to be a crazy day. <laughs> Literally, Drag Race Holland. And then the Halloween episode tomorrow. I hope you guys are all getting into the spirit. I would love to see some outfits on Instagram or whatever. Like I said, I don't normally do Halloween. But this year, she a Halloween. So hey. Get into it. So, let's go. It really sucks when that happens. There's just one rule in Drag Race. Only take off your wig if you have one on underneath and she didn't have one and so it took... Oh yeah, mm. It was more of a Bibi Zahara moment than a Sasha Velour. There ain't no roses, girl. Keep it on. I'm rooting for you all. We Chelsea boy. She was cool. She was so fierce. She had some inc incredible artistic looks and I was still gagged. So hey, this is the top four. Oh, 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 okay, semi-final, we the top four, okay, Jane is okay, I freaking love her, Mama Queen is so cool, and Envy Peru's been doing so well, I kind of see that as the top three, and I don't know who I want to win, I generally don't know, it's the same as Canada, what do you guys think, seriously, because I'm just like, okay, we'll find out who goes first, and then we'll sort of discuss our sort of top three prediction for the winner kind of vibe, so hey. Hello ladies. Hi. The time has come to see your true colors fly. Well mine's black and orange today, so fly, 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 fly. Uh oh. So act like it. I I think I already act like the queen. The queen of the queens. What? So you go princess and then queen. What's above the queen? Oh yeah, it's me. Just saying. <laughs> It's a bit old fashioned, think back to it. Bitch Fest. Oh, is it the reading challenge? But we've already had that. No. Oh, puppets! Okay. Wait, they ain't no grip picker? Do it yourself. If you want a job done, sis, do it yourself, okay? <laughs> oh, it's a table. It's it's not quite the, the glory hole. Can I pick? I'll pick, I'll pick. 
You take turns in the puppet theatre. Let the bitch fest begin. I'm probably not going to get the shade. Here we go. Who is it, MV? How did you get the name? I like to celebrate my roots. Okay. From Peru. And your real roots. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look, that's her look from last week, oh my god. The waist, the outfits, it's, the scarf. It's on point. I thought myself it looks. I thought I looked great, of course you did. <laughs> Where's the quarrel we had? Where's the come and be a sister gig? I've been in Mykonos for so long, but... Now I'm back and I'm here to win. End the story. Where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? Where where are the jokes? Where are the jokes though? Even the the jokes are asking where are the jokes? Like they don't even know. They don't even have a mirror. First, I come up with a look that no one gets, <laughs> and I have to keep explaining. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Normally I decide the winner, but this is a semi-final. Why don't you tell me who the winner is? Oh, democracy. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. I'm confused. To be fair, why? Surely you can't vote for yourself. There's no way the girls would choose me. Okay. I thought that Abby said I was. Yeah. She, I wasn't going to say that she was. I thought she was really funny. Envy. Okay. Envy. I vote myself. You can't vote for yourself. Was that? She was. Hang on. Was that? Was that not a rule? You mean she could actually vote for herself? Okay. Mm. So that's how this competition's gonna get judged and won and crowned, did it? They're just gonna be like, well, Envy Peru, you win. What's the, should we just go home now? I mean, I'm already at home, but should we just go home now? Like, is there any point in doing this episode and the finale? Is Envy, Envy's just gonna win. Envy, Envy's won by a default. No shade, no saltiness, but well, a little bit of shade. <laughs> Smidge, just a little, little amuse bouche of shade. But y'all know it's true. Who are you voting for? Who are you rooting for? Gerald and Frank, choreographers today. Well, you all know what a choreographer means. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're gonna do it. Ow, already. Oh, yeah, it's just as simple as that. Fucking twirl, a twirl and a swirl and a Merle Ginsburg. Are you fucking kidding? Right, what are we doing? Because I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just jamming out here. I'm just having my little cute little like. I'll just go and be the cheerleader. Give me a yes! I don't know. It's a tango. Oh, okay. Have you ever danced a tango? No. But I am dressed like orange, so let's do this. Shit. But wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I need to dance. Partner for there, I can do it, I can it. Hoe heb ik in dit land en aan de andere kant? I can do that, het yes, and then left. Tap your head, and then right. What is going on? Sis, I can it. <laughs> this ain't no intricate choreography to be fair. I can do that, I can walk and go. <laughs> can we just vote, can we go back to the vogue and charge? I like that. Ow, uh, my legs. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> this is going to be... Can I twirl? I'm making up my own choreog. Twirly, swirly. Whee! I t Guys. Yeah. So... I'll do my own thing. Yeah. Oh! <sighs> that was... That was... Yeah. Kind of hard to follow because it's not too intricate. There's no fanography. There's no voguing. It's not my judge. Especially in these heels. So we're done. Oh, they're really going for this top four vibe of entrances, aren't they? And I'm about it. Like, hey, I, hey, 
you gotta make the most of it. I'll be like up on the wall, like, or like Charlie's Angels, frock destroyers. Like, oh, oh you wanna get frock destroyed? Oh. That was a mixture of the cock destroyers and Mae West. I'm not going home. The country of Telecat, so I'm going to kill it today, it's so ready. So well, I, excited for a musical. I'm excited for a musical, but I don't know if I'm gonna like understand the story or like anything, but I am curious to see who does good. And then the runway looks as well. So like, hey, I can't judge anything until I've seen I, I, anyway, we've already seen with the gags of this competition that anyone can go home. So it's based on how they perform. We'll see. I, it's interesting. It's a bit tooly again, but I don't think those colours match unless it's supposed to represent like flowers or something. Yellow with the sort of Parma violet, pinks, purples. Mm, mm, I'm not, not a big fan. I was thinking when she was walking down. Why shouldn't she wear a Halloween outfit? Then I realise it's not quite a Halloween episode, but I'm making it a Halloween episode, okay? So, spook. <laughs> I was like, hang on, but hey, her hair is kind of giving me a bit Ariana Grande. Like, works this? Hey? Yeah. Woman who stole the hearts of all Dutch people. But how did it all begin? Oh, we're gonna find out. So she grew up in a rich family and her dad was a real big shot. That's probably why she was somewhat spoiled. Because Maxima always wanted more. Oh, I gave him, I, I got all the more that I want right here. Okay, she drinking, she drinking. She doing it. She on the table. She's she's got a good look. I like that hair. <gasps> she doing the Naomi. S oh, the slide. I love it. That does stuff to me. Okay, first bit was cute. We're getting into it. She's she's like very stuck up, spoiled, wants it all herself. But mm, she was determined to become a queen, and if that meant marrying a chubby prince who loved drinking beer, so be it. Hey, she still had to force him to propose. Maybe we should do it on a leap year in February. She could then propose, but hey. Oh, come on, Janie. Oh, she a bit more grown up now. You get fashion, Latin hip. I get beer, belly, and cheese. <laughs> I don't care about your looks. Next to me, you're so out of place. Oh, cha cha. Oh, sensual. She's doing the moves. I'm not living, living, living for that look, but she's doing the moves. Wow. Literally, same, same. I'm like, let's say what? She's doing it. Has she done this before? Has she done a cha-cha tango vibe like dance? I am stiff as a board. The, rings on my finger and the, the ring was on her finger, finger, the man in her pocket. The problem, however, was not to marry, was not how to marry, right? But how she was going to the Dutch, get the Dutch people to worship her. Maxima wasn't afraid to use a little manipulation and melodrama. Oh gosh. Oh. Here comes the melodrama, Envy Peru. <laughs> she looks definitely more grown up now. She, she, she ready. She, she done. She's like the wife. He's a bit dumb. He's a bit dumb. He's clumsy and foolish. <laughs> I got my own lyrics. They have to see me cry, even if it's just one tear. <laughs> it looks perfect for the music that is playing. Okay. She, she needs knocked off her pedestal. When, when she gets to be the queen at the end, I hope it's not a happy ending. Oh my gosh, she got the bottle. She can't cry, she's gonna spray her. Oh, oh my god, she's act is she hitting her face? No, she's, oh my god, she is. But, but she's perfect. We need her. I, but she's so emotional. She's so, oh, oh, oh Maxima, I pledge everything to you. Come rule our country, please. We may be together, but he has the power. That wasn't part of my plan at all. Working for that clumsy fool. <laughs> when will that crown be mine? Never. He'll always be in my way. He'll never leave on his own. For Maxima, Maxima, Maxima. Playing second fiddle is not my thing. Tell me about it. 
She's not getting it though. She's not hey, she's not going her way. Actions speak louder than words. I'm reaching for the crown and taking power. Oh, is she gonna kill him? Oh, so she just took the crown and then pushed him out of the way. That's how it works. I think that's how it works. <laughs> Over there, I can be president, so I'm leaving this mess behind. If that orange clown can do it, I'm sure my plan will work. The world is mine. Whew. Well done, all of them. They all did so good. It was kind of confusing, but I think I get it. So basically, she didn't really get what she wanted in the end because that's not how you worm your way up into the royals of the families. But then she's like, right, I'm going to go over to America and just do it over there and on a bigger scale. Okay. They all looked good. They all did good. I think Janie did pretty much the best. I was impressed. There's not one, not two, but three looks for the runway. And a theme that fits this royal episode. Category is red, white, and blue, bitch. So, what, they have to do one of each colour look? How are they going to do three looks? Beachwear. Wow, okay, I like that. I like the glasses. You would wear it to the beach and then get covered in all the coral. <laughs> it, it's decent. I do like that plastic coral stuff. Obviously, Brooklyn's used it, that kind of vibe. Decent. Oh, that's, that's definitely like bodysuit by the beach. Like for rich. Like, oh, oh. Give me the shining shimmering. Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 the tuck. I like the hair, but it wasn't amazing. But then she took it off to the re the, the longer red. It's it's cute. The bodysuit's very Abby. I like the boots and I like the hair and the glasses. Oh, well, that's how you do it. She got like a train going on. I think that's the best of the, the four swimsuit looks. Personally, it is a bit of fabric wrapped around your waist, but they all pretty much were fabric wrapped around their waist. Like, hey, cocktail dress, okay. Decent? I like the hair. I love how, right, so basically all three looks from all four of them have to be red, white, and blue themed. That's a lot of red, white, and blue. But hey, y'all, the voting is so close. Like, it's near, it's next week, hey. I like that more. I like the white. Oh, it's actually sort of charcoaly faded. And then the pop of red. Oh, she like a drink. I like that more than Envy's. Oh, walk into the room, purse first. I like the heart. I like the general vibe of it. I'm not super wowed by these looks. It is given like airline, it's cute, but like... Oh! They're all throwing the drinks on this date. Hey, watch y'all don't slip. <laughs> That's cute too, it's nice and fitted. I like it, but I don't love, love, love it. Semi-final, come on. Be good looks now. Evening gown, this is what I'm looking for, I like a gown. Here we go. Interstellar Highness. Oh, I spy those red boots. Oh my god. That's decent. That's that's good. That is nice. Peak of the red right there. Wow. I don't like the top bit. She's had the heart theme going on. She had the heart on the last look and peak of the blue. It's cute. Obviously the corset, it's giving me very like French Marie Antoinette kind of vibe. I don't know how I feel about that either. Like the tool, like... Obviously it's red, white, and blue. Evening gown, could you actually imagine if someone wore that? It's decent. I don't love, love, love it. I don't know these looks, guys. Is it just me? I'm not just favoring Envy, but hello, this is her week. Look at that look. That is the best of her three looks. The hair is gorge. I love the open. I love the... I think we've had a lot of red, white, and blue. It's almost too much. We could have just had this final look of each of them. But I do like this. Probably one of the best of the 12 looks. And Janie's got to win this week, I personally think. How's it going? Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Ready to cut some high heels. Who do you think should go? Oh! 
Oh, this question. Abby. Personally, I would say Abby. She's good friends with Abby, though. She's not going to say Abby. All I see is Abby turning her head. Like, I honestly think I should consider the track record. That's fair. Mama Queen, heeft de win gehad. Mama Queen had a win. Jenny J had, had a win. Uh, Abby, Abby hasn't had one yet. Oh. It breaks my heart to nog een keer haar naam te noemen, maar het is wat het is. Sorry, Abby. It is what I would and yeah. Sorry, but. And I think. I'm thinking that the other girls are honest enough to also consider the track record. Okay, I would. I want to be in the finale with people I connect with most. Abby and Janie. That's why I prefer if Envy went home tonight. Oh. It feels pretty good to have her on my side. Yeah, but how y'all gonna say Envy's name when she has won three challenges? Like, sis. She just wants her competition out of the way. Smart Mama Queen. Envy's gonna be in the final. If you're saying that Envy has to go home because she's our competition, she's already won four times. I get that, but Mama Queen made an emotional decision. Miss Abby, oh my God! Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Who do you think should go home tonight? I think should go home tonight. I really wish for all four of us could be in the finale. We also don't like to get that question. We don't like to throw someone under the bus. Yeah. That's the game. Just say a name, sis. Just do it. You did the most lip syncs and won the most. Oh, yeah, you didn't win the most challenges though. You just won the most lip syncs for being in the bottom. Who do you think is going home? Abby, because she's done three lip syncs and hasn't won yet. Okay, fair enough. T and truth. I do genuinely think that Janie Jacquet's won this challenge and Envy's probably going to make it through because of her track record. Whatever you say about track record, she's probably going to make it through. That leaves Abby and Mama Queen in the bottom two lip sync. And we all know that they've both done lip syncs and kind of turned it out. So I'm curious. Hey, your lip sync was on point in the musical. I thought your bathing suit was just perfect. Just had an issue with your stockings. Okay. There's a lot to critique this episode, guys. I'm sorry if I'm missing stuff. Like the musical, obviously, I can't really include the music. Three runway looks. I'm literally like, what the fuck? Like, so my general take on it is that's the top two and they're the bottom two. You look maybe my favourite look of the evening. It is, it is gorge. You look great and you had a great musical. I thought you, yeah. I genuinely hope and think that Janie J.K. should win this challenge. Tension is just unbearable. Who do you think should go home? I just said what I was feeling. And, uh, I think that you know I highly regard how high I really am regard you. Fantastic friend. I find it echt het meest slappe excuus ever. Sorry, it's excuus ever. I think that yeah, you want to zeg maar van de beste winnen. You should want to beat the best com com uh, competitor. Yeah. I mean, I had made plans about what to do after the show. I did the same with you. I don't feel that way about you. It's not about making friends and being like, right, what we're going to do after the show. It's who should win the show. So I do get that. Why Envy's upset. Yes, yeah, sis, you're the one who didn't actually mention a name. How did she get away with that? Rue would have been like, no, sis, we don't want the pageant, Miss Pageant of America's best drag answers. We want a name. Abby, just say a fucking name. Question was asked. This is not why I'm here. Yeah, but you you, you got to do what you're asked to do. If you're going to jump into a fish tank and take some pictures, if you're going to do a puppet challenge, if you're going to do a snatch game, that's what you're here for. Welcome back, Queens. This is it, guys. Thank you for your looks and presentations of the runway. Thank you for your looks and your runway and presentation. The and the musical, yeah. The half final. Semi-final. Four Queens. You made it very difficult for us. Yeah, true. Very difficult. Oh, well. Two queens will face each other in the lip sync. Okay, okay. And one of you will be going home. The way they were talking, I was kind of thinking, are they going to just keep the four of them? Like, no. <laughs> this week's winner is... And the winner of the Ruse... Come on. Jane is okay. Jane is okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jane yeah! <laughs> Well done, sis. She's in the final and she did the best and she looks gorgeous. So I'm so pleased for her. You were the complete package. Literally. How's it going? 
fucking finale. <laughs> finale. finale fucking finale, girlfriend. <laughs> Three gorgeous queens in front of me. One of you will go straight to the finale. Let's do it. Who stays? And who goes? Not. Person who will go straight into the finale is. is. Envy Peru. Predicted it, could see it coming. She is polished. Well done. Very well deserved. Sis, well done. We got a we got a Mama Queen and Abby OMG lip sync ahead, and they both lip sync before. So hey, credit head a lip sync battle for tonight. Stronger by Kelly Clarkson. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a mosh. Oh my God! Come on, Bendel Creme, Darian Lake. Oh oh, she taking stuff off. Kind of slow. Why is she taking stuff off really slowly? Sensual. Oh, the, but it's is it the RuPaul's best take off your clothes race? Oh my god, Abby, no. Come on, Mama Queen, I want you to stay. Why is she pulling up these fucking? Oh my god, like when Valentina said, "Come and walk out in a diaper," we didn't mean it for realsies. Like. Mm -mm. Oh, nice split, but still, I don't, I, I, I see Mama Queen staying, come on. I'm not getting any fight from Abby. This is not like the Darien Lake performance, I swear to God. Mm-mm. I know I shouldn't compare, but whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I just, just, just like, right, I'm done, sis, like, yeah. Wow, oh. Maida. Couple of ladies were stripping on stage again. Literally, I'm kind of thinking, like... That was a bit meh. I may have just lip synced Mama Queen out of the competition. I don't think you did, personally. I know the tension must be unbearable. I know that this decision is the most difficult decision I've ever had to make. Just do it. Dear Abby. And dear Mama Queen. Oh, please, 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 let this moment sign. Shantae. Shantae, you stay? You I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Both of you. Girl, really? Oh. They were pushing for that all episode. Oh, it's so hard to choose. It's so hard to decide. They're all amazing. Perfect candidates for the final. Well done, but I, I, I don't see it. Like, well done. They're, they're all there. No hate. We got it. I'm just like... After four times at the bottom, I'm going to the finale. <laughs> Oh, she done swore at the screen. So we're dealing with. That whole day was too much for a person to handle. Yeah, that's four fucking... I don't know how many fucking looks it was, but three on the runway. Oh, wow. First Drag Race Holland winner. We're going to find out next week. We've got a top four again still. <laughs> I'm looking at Janie and we're like... What the fuck is this? What the fuck is it? Yeah, more competition. Oh, are we going to rise up? You have to be on top of your game all the time. And as you have thicker in a lip sync. If you're shaking in your boots during a lip sync, so you don't deserve, don't deserve to be here. It. Yeah. Sorry. No, sorry. If you, you can't can love, love yourself, yourself how in the hell, hell are you, you gonna, gonna love somebody? somebody? I'd rather have some trouble sweets. Amen. Amen. Woo! So there we have it. Nobody has gone home. It was kind of a gag, but I was just like, the way the judges were talking, like, oh my god, it's so hard to pick between them, and I'm kind of underwhelmed. Is it just me? Like, Janie Jake won, and she was the best, so I kind of think it, well, it definitely was deserved for her to win, but I just think the lip sync was really kind of underwhelming for the song. Abby? My personal pick would be for Abby to go, based on the competition, based on her performance, everything. No hate, no shade, nothing. That's just the tea. What do you guys think? Seriously, I just... Mm -mm. I, yeah, I, they're not trying to do it for the gag for the gag's sake. They, I think they've been really impressed with her progression towards the last few episodes, but I just... Uh, mm -mm. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, obviously we're a bit like spooky, kawooky, Halloween-y, Halloween-y, hello. Pumpk, pumpk. 
in here. Um, I hope y'all have enjoyed this episode, this reaction, my outfit. There's going to be some pictures on Instagram, all the cute stuff. Um, I know you can't really see much. It's a lot of like black up top, but like obviously there's the whole orange and there's the shoes and the pumpkin and everything. So hey, it's super cute. I love it. And I will have a totally different outfit for tomorrow for the um, Halloween season 12 episode special thingamajiggy. So yeah, I hope you guys all stay tuned for that. And thank you as usual for being amazing and watching. And I'm going to edit this and then go do Twitch in Halloween outfitness that's a dance move <laughs> um, but yeah seriously uh stay safe everyone i don't know if people can go out and do trick-or-treating people are doing different interesting way cute ways of doing it safely and social distancingly but it's probably best just to buy yourself a bucket of sweets stay in watch a scary movie or something i don't really do scary movies hey but um yeah i'm gonna oh, i've got a dip dab i've got some drumstick lo i've got these guys are like some of my absolute favorite lollies oh my god the candy type ones. I've got oh, Palmer Violets. Oh my god, yes. Oh, guys, I, this haul is great. I mean, I, I didn't actually get a haul from Trick or Treating, but hey, I know it's a day early, obviously, but I've got two videos to do, all that jazz. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for the Halloween episode. Stay safe, everyone. Happy Halloween and spooktacularness and everything. Bye, guys. Oh my god. So just to give you all one last look at this out, I'll, I'll leave the way I came in. Or oh, how did that fucking come in? I don't even, ow. Right, here we go. Um, don't worry. Uh, yeah, bye. I'm going to go get myself some more sweets. I don't know where. I might go to the candy shop. Shabba. Oh, yeah, y'all thought I was gone. Oh, well, this time I am. Hold all the phones. How y'all going to have cheese as a dessert? I'm a chocolate person. I'm a pudding. I'm a cake, red velvet, sticky toffee pudding, creme brulee, bend de la creme, all the desserts. And if I was Janie JK, I'd be like, I've ordered myself up for the just, I mean, <laughs> just start climbing on the table. Anyway, um, I freaking love dessert, but I would not be happy with some grapes and cheese board. Just FYI, if anybody ever wants to take me on a date.